Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So Rangers fans have grown painfully accustomed to the retail chaos in the background of the club for the best part of a decade now. Between the bad business done with Sports Direct and Mike Ashley to the poor handlings of the Hummel deal, there has been some truly big hurdles to clear in recent years. But as Rangers finally settle the last of their retail wrangles and the five-year deal with Castor prepares to run out this summer, it really is a new era of the retail at Ibrox and one the Rangers board are under increasing pressure to finally get right. It certainly sounds strange by saying this, but Rangers are now finally free of any retail problems which have held the club back recently. After the long-running dispute with Mike Ashley which was eventually settled in May 2022, you might have been fooled into thinking it was a clean break for us. Rangers have been embroiled in a retail dispute with Sports Direct ever since 2015. The new regime at Ibrox had tried to wrestle back control of the Ibrox side's merchandising, with Rangers famously receiving only 7 pence for every £1 spent under Mike Ashley's influence. Amid boycotts, PR disasters and a public dispute with Dave King, the club settled with Mike Ashley seven years later. The annual accounts showed that Rangers had paid out £6 million in compensation to draw a line under the saga. It's a big fee for Rangers still in post-2012 recovery, but it's definitely a small price to pay to get rid of the toxicity assorted with the Sports Direct era. So during the fight with Sports Direct, Rangers famously signed a deal with Hummel back in 2018, which was supposed to kickstart the club's stuttering retail operations. But unfortunately, as we all know, that did prove to be a poison chalice as only a year later, Rangers were found to be in breach of the original Sports Direct agreement. It meant that the club did have to go ahead and recognise Sports Direct as their official retail partner, with a court then ruling that Rangers couldn't wear Hummel jerseys from the 2020-21 campaign. Rangers did go on to sign a deal with Cass store in 2020, announcing that all existing agreements had came to an end in doing so. However, that would then catch the attention of Hummel's partner company called Elite, with the club then being chased for £9.5 in lost earnings in the case that was eventually settled in August 2024. Whilst the exact amount paid to Elite is unknown, it will all come out in the end of the year accounts with Rangers likely to have forked out seven figures to finally put an end to the 10-year retail drama. Rangers have long been the biggest and the most widely supported club in Scotland, and back in the 1990s it is reported that the Ibrox side were selling more kits than Manchester United. Therefore, it is clear that Rangers are now approaching a fresh break in the club's retail operations after a 10 solid years of court battles, boycotts and botch deals. So what do you guys think then? Personally, I do think that we will really kick on after all this now, and I think we will get away from Castor and what they do have to offer. With the club going for a more reputable brand like Adidas or Nike, I think that will provide fans with high quality merchandise that we can trust and be comfortable spending money on. Personally, I've not actually bought another Rangers kit since the first cast store one, as I wasn't overly happy with what I received for the price that I did have to pay. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what direction we do take in the future, and hopefully we do see a better deal. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.